uh, this is our 28th meeting and today we have uh, this meeting takes place in hybrid format uh, so I want to in particular I want to welcome uh, Arif Arani MP uh, to our committee uh, welcome uh, the regular members are all here but I believe you're subbing in so welcome uh, I just wanted to make a few comments about uh, how the meeting is run uh, so I'll recognize you by name uh, then you have the floor just wanted to note that uh, there is simultaneous translation. Uh, you can access that. There's a little globe at the bottom of your screen uh, where it says interpretation. You can uh, access that and click on the language of your choice. Um, just remember to speak clearly and slowly uh, so that that translation can indeed happen. Uh, the, uh, just a reminder as well uh, to address your uh, comments to the chair. Uh, and the uh, we have already gone through our sound checks uh, for for this meeting. Um, this uh, this study is taking place uh, pursuant to the order of 1082 that we resume our study on the Chinese government's residential boarding schools and preschools in the Tibet autonomous regions and the all Tibet autonomous areas and countries. And so it's our pleasure to welcome you all. Uh, to our committee hearings today. Uh, with us today, we have the Canada Tibet Committee, the Canada Action Institute, uh, Tibet Watch, and the Tashi Limpo Monastery. And so we're going to hear from each of these organizations and groups uh, today. Uh, there will be five minutes uh, given to each group uh, for opening statements. Uh, interestingly, today we have uh, uh, an organization that will be speaking to us in uh, a language not uh, English or French, and so there will be we will be giving five minutes uh, uh, to the to the monastery to to speak uh, in Tibetan, and then there will be a five minutes uh, it will be translated into English uh, by an uh, interpreter that is sitting in the room with us. So it'll be a little different than than normal, perhaps, but uh, I, I'm sure we will be able to manage that. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to. Uh, turn it over to uh, the uh, Tashi Lamu Monastery and their representatives, and uh, and then we will go through uh, for five minutes, and then we'll have five minutes of translation of their statement, and then we'll go to the next uh, witnesses for five minutes each after that. Uh, so uh, the floor is yours uh, with the monastery. <laughs> Ngi Teshtele, everyone. As the abbot of Teshi Lumbu Monastery, I would like to take this opportunity today to make some fervent appeals to the <coughs> Canadian government on behalf of the followers of Tibetan Buddhism around the world, human rights, religious freedom, and child rights advocates, as well as the millions of disciples of His Holiness the Penchen Rinpoche, more well known as the Penchen Lama across Tibet and the Himalayan region. <laughs> Pernangi Currently, we see the Chinese government undertaking ruthless and restrictive policies in Tibet. The situation is worsening day by day. We see human rights being trampled, religious freedom and rights of child being denied. Those Tibetans who disagree with the Chinese government are being arbitrarily detained with many being disappeared. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to explain the situation in Tibet, the context of the disappearance of an eminent spiritual leader, namely His Holiness the 11th Pension Lama. Dean 
In 1989, the 10th Pension Lama died suddenly and mysteriously while in the town of Shugatse in Tibet. Subsequently, as per Tibetan Buddhist convention, His Holiness the Dalai Lama announced on May 14, 1995, his recognition of Gendun Chuki Nima from Nakchu in Tibet as the unmistaken reincarnation. Sadly, three days after the announcement on May 17, 1995, the Chinese authorities detained the less than six years old Gendun Chuki Nima, his parents and entourage. They have not been seen, seen, seen since then, and 28 years have passed. To make matters worse, later in 1995, the Chinese government interfered in our religious process and forcefully appointed a child by the name of Gyanzen Nobo as a fake 11th pension lama. Since then, he has been used as a political tool by the Chinese government. <laughs> Chidong Quincy Pension, Quentin Chuba Chimbe, Peggy, Chet and Rishun Tola, Pernang, do you do children so, Zeddy, Gule Teme Kyamba, Tar Kusoya, Teacher, Lodon Zayu, Pension, Quentin Chuba Chimbochoni, Pension, Quentin Chube Kunshi, Labchen Jukoba, Manda Yube, Tony Gang, Hajangi, Kenny Chimbochayola, Tabar, Quincy Pension, Muchi, Nedin Tola, Bezen Nangyan, Longo Nigering, Kando Yumeso, Panda Kunze, Dembashi, Chigan Chung made up, Tadung Alila. Canada, Shunjoni, Pezun Nangro Shuguin, Terry Ding, a two sent up Chimbukoni, Canada, Trazo, the Sejuna, Ridu, Tensen Naji, Najinshi, Shuguin. The tenth His Holiness the Pension Lama has worked his entire life tirelessly and even sacrificed his precious life to preserve the Tibetan language, religion, and culture across Tibet, including the 70,000 syllable report. His Holiness the 11th Pension Lama is very crucial to continue the legacy of the 10th Pension Lama and further realize his great works and visions. All efforts made, by, made regarding His Holiness the Pension Lama has, for the past 28 years have resulted to no significant proof of his whereabouts. All efforts made regarding His Holiness the Pension Lama for the past 28 years have resulted to no significant proof of his whereabouts. Hence, we urge the Canadian government to take more concrete actions. Therefore, with great concern, we would like to make the following five appeals to the Canadian Parliament and Administration. <coughs> Shedo Yungur, Ganado Yube, Canada, Shunza, Mini, Pension, and Butcher, the Mosu, Jet, Tuktaki, Shunjit, Timcher, Tembe, Nangtab Yong, Shugu. One, I urge the Canadian Parliament to pass on a motion urging the Canadian government to instruct the ambassador in China to meet with the 11th Pension Lama and ascertain his whereabouts and well being. Niba Canada, Sishuni, Pension, Kundin, Chuchiba. Chimbuchola, Kunglo Tuniche, Tabar, Milo Nishu Tabgeri, Troami, Top Danda, Chede Rangu Chibe, Top Danson Dona, Jode Chusum To, Shize Joa Miriki, Top Dan Zawani Mebe, Munshe Tundagi, Sendarik, Bitab Yong Shugu. Two, I urge the Canadian government to honor the 11th Pension Lama with an award recognizing him as a victim of enforced disappearance for 28 years and as someone who has been denied with his human rights, religious freedom, rights of a child, and other fundamental rights of movement, residency, and action. Sumba, <coughs> Sumba, Kennedy, Trezoso, Quincy, Pension, and Buchi, Chok, Nurdo, Lede, Yong Tapso, Chede, Gabur, Sunchil, Shibin, Yishu, Zangani, Gui, Tungardan, Nabe, Chibdini, Zinzungi, Kason, Chamin, the Gua, Sogi, Sunzi, Linguishi, Benayo, Shugu. Three. 
In order to enable his early release and as a way to draw attention to his situation, I urge the Canadian Parliament to observe both the birthday and the day of the disappearance of the 11th Pension Lama on April 25th and May 17th, respectively. Shiva. Four, I urge the Canadian government to intervene in the forced colonial boarding schools for Tibetan children so that we can ensure the continuity of Tibetan culture. Five, the aspirations of the... Cinq, les aspirations des Tibétains sont pour que le sa sainteté, le Dalai Lama, puisse se retourner au Tibet le plus tôt possible. Par conséquent, je demande... Sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm very sorry, but the translation has switched. So I'm getting French on the English channel, and um, I'd love to hear what that fifth um, point was, please. I, I would attempt to speak in French, although I unable to. So, uh, je m'appelle Arnold Viersen. Uh, it's the. Uh... My name is Arnold Viersen. This is the English Channel. Problem is now. government have been consistently supporting the Tibetan people, and so I take this opportunity to express my gratitude. This five-point appeal I have made today are in one way also connected to the mental well-being of several mil million believers and connected to the democ democratic rights of individuals. I have firm hope that, that the Canadian government will consider the reality of the Tibetan situation, particularly on the issue of His Holiness the Pension Lama, and consider my appeals positively. Thank you. <laughs> 